Hi, it's Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I'm in Corel Draw X6 here to show you how to use the Twirl tool, which is one of the four new tools in Corel X6. When you uh, purchase X6 Corel Draw, you get a lot of new features and four new tool features in particular, which I'm going to do videos on. This video will be on the Swirl tool. I was playing around earlier with the Smear tool and um, showed a video on how to use that as well. I'm going to use this same demonstration or the actual same vector images that I used in the smear uh, video in this in the twirl video to show you how and demonstrate how to use the twirl tool in Corel. Nothing fancy. Uh, I don't have a an awesome graphic here. Basically I want to show you how to take a, a, um, a typical vector shape and just stretch it as you did in the earlier versions of X4 and X5 using the nodes you'll do this with a tool which will save you a lot of time here in X6 so I'm going to start by let's just delete a couple of shapes let's put a basic shape on the page let's put a square now what the twirl tool does and let's add some color to it right click to uh, change the color of the stroke and what you want to do first is select the object in which you're going to uh, choose to use the swirl tool on. So once you've selected the object, in order to do that, you're going to use your pick tool and choose an object using your pick tool. And then uh, come down to your shape tool, hover over it with your mouse, and then left click and a menu will drop out and you'll be able to choose the twirl tool here. Okay, uh, now we have something what we call a nib. Uh, Corel Draw calls it a, a nib. It's like a brush, and uh, as you can see, it moves with my mouse. The crosshair is in the center, and there's a radius. And so we can change that radius by holding the shift key, left clicking on your mouse, and enlarging it, or s making it smaller by moving in. Let go of the, con the shift key and the mouse and then you can change your nib size that way. So the bigger the nib, the more swirl you get, the larger the twirl. And then the smaller, of course, the smaller the twirl. So let's start with just um, something big, and then we'll just hold our mouse key over that corner there, and um, left click, and hold it down, and release. And you get these fancy little twirls you can just grab this image basically anywhere. You don't have to click on a node to, gra to place where you want the swirl. The longer you hold it, uh, the more twirl you get, vice versa. And anywhere in this image, you can create a twirl effect. Even in the center here, if I hold it over the center. So again, that's how you use the twirl tool. And if you have some odd shapes, you can select on those objects and use the twirl tool as well within it and create little fancy uh, twirls within the, a design. Again, this would work really great with some really fancy graphics that, that you may have. And I um, also want to demonstrate making it smaller and making a smaller twirl and you can even go smaller and you can do smaller effects with the twirl tool so again this is how you would use your twirl tool new feature in Corel X6 I'm real excited about some of the new tools and um, features that they have I think you'll be excited as well uh, be sure to watch for the other videos on new tools and new and exciting features within Corel Draw X6. My name is Vicki, and I'm with uh, Condi Systems in the Tech Support Department. And again, I thank you for your time.